all right what's going on guys it's Ress, and welcome to another video so there's been a lot of controversy that has been going on recently in the destiny community if you didn't watch my video yesterday or you just haven't been in touch with what's going on they actually decided to go out and nerf eager edge in the sense that you can't double swipe it anymore and also they kind of shadow nerfed it in a way so if you're moving too fast you actually won't be able to proc eager edge so if you're falling down before you like activate your jump or something you also cannot proc eager edge so you just cannot get that momentum to save your life if you are falling from an area and you have no jump in my last video i talked about my opinions on the nerf and how i think it is a little crazy that that's the first thing and they went out and nerf but there are a lot of people that are really really upset with the change i mean there's people threatening to quit the game there's people threatening to you know uninstall and literally just never play the game again in general like not even like just take a break aka quitting and the sad part is honestly there are probably people also threatening you know bungie developers as well because of a little change like this which is just not cool yeah ch the change is also not cool but literally being hostile to somebody over a change like that is is even way way worse like don't 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 be that person but one of the main talking points is that bungie is not fixing things like the duality dungeon which obviously has a lot of bugs in it right now you can pretty much just instant die at some points if you're trying to ring the bells uh, which makes it really really hard for solo players you know to complete it if you're trying to get a solo completion because you just end up dying randomly I mean, there's also obviously a bunch of other bugs in the game you have stuff that can be buffed and nerfed and they're choosing to go out and change something that the community loves it just honestly does give it a bad look in my opinion but obviously i'm not a game developer i'm sure some stuff is way way easier to patch than others and this was probably something they could just get done quickly because it's probably just a little tuning of a perk instead of having to completely change the whole archetype of weapon or fix a whole activity i would imagine that probably gets a little bit harder but again i'm not a game dev so i don't 100 percent know i also made a poll on my youtube channel that i'm gonna pull up really quick and i just simply asked question what's your opinion on the egress nerf and 19 percent said it was a good nerf and 81 percent said it was a bad nerf i honestly don't know who's in that 19 percent but i totally understand that if they want to fix things you know because that's not the way they were intended i get that but other stuff i feel like should have been fixed first but really quick before we talk more about drama speaking of you guys i actually ended up doing a video similar to this yesterday and obviously i didn't do as good as my other videos but it still got around a thousand views so i truly truly appreciate that it was really fun i'm excited to do one like this today really switching up content on the channel is obviously going to be really good for the longevity of the channel i really do appreciate all the support you guys give and i just really really hope you are enjoying this i know there probably are a million other creators out there that you could listen to their opinions on so if you're choosing to watch mine as someone who has been in love with this game for literal like seven years at this point i it really does mean the world to me and just thank you all so much also i don't want you all to think that like build videos or even like weapon recommendations are going to go away on the channel because they're definitely not i'm still going to be posting those a lot i know a lot of you guys are watching me because of that but i do like to have these when there is a little downtime in the game as well and i still need to set up that free to play account so i can start you know recording videos like that for you guys as well so i can just have like a free to play to gm i think is what i'm going to title the series and speaking of builds i actually am testing this build out right now i know it's very similar to like an arc 3 Pinal warlock build but this is kind of like the finale of it i think this is the best of the best it can get i'm trying out a mod that i don't see a lot of people use and it's honestly working for me quite well i probably will have an updated build of this soon because i finally did get my uh Tarnish metal craft it which is what i'm trying to level up right now because really quick i'm sure my teammates have this if we go over to the challenges there is a challenge for this week if my game would load i'm gonna die uh where you have to level up 10 shaped weapons uh seasonal weapons specifically so things like all the you know plunder weapons tarnish metal the the you know this linear fusion i just got all the seasonal weapons like that i actually do have one of the smgs leveled up to level 10 so that's good that's where i was at one out of 10 but i am working on the sky rifle and i also did get this uh linear fusion being able to get leveled up as well so hopefully i'll get that challenge done soon but luckily this is the week they did increase the you know i guess ability to get red border weapons but for people that have been struggling a little bit like me i know that's going to be a little difficult to get max which kind of sucks but yeah if you didn't vote in that poll let me know what you guys think about the eager edge nerf do you do you even run it i know some people that don't even run it they never have i mean obviously running a normal sword is also gonna be still better for momentum uh i guess you can even argue at some point eager edge can kind of screw you over but, let, but it, let's be honest though in most parts of the game it is a lot better and it is very very fun so just let me know what you all think about it because scrolling on twitter yesterday 
man, there's a lot of upset people. All right, let's use this uh, linear fusion with a rapid hit. All right, honestly, <laughs> we kind of we kind of smoked the boss, honestly. Oh, linear is definitely better, but that, that one did not. Uh, that one did not definitely not do too bad. All right, let's see what loot we get here. We got a shotgun and then our seven plundered uh, umbral energy because that's the one I slotted in. Now that you can actually focus those red border weapons, I'm trying to save up as much energy as possible for each week. All right, so more on the eager edge. We actually have DMG right here, and if you don't know who DMG is, this is basically one of the community managers. They write up all the twabs and hot fixes and patches and stuff but this is him talking about the eager edge so he says enhanced eager edge team was finding numerous issues where the perk could use to be skipped encounters break mechanics and generally cause issues with the game having a couple notes from my perspective on where we like to improve moving forward i totally understand obviously you could basically do those things but the problem is is even with the change they made I don't know if there's anywhere in the game you still can't do what you previously did. You can still skip a lot of encounters and jump in puzzles and everything with Eager Edge. You just might have to do it a little different now, but not even that much. But then if we scroll down, we have ComSide. We always like to seek out challenges like this ahead of time while also providing the dev commentary insight to keep you in the loop. With Hotfix coming more quickly as of late, this slipped through. We're talking to them on how we can better prep in the features. So that's obviously really good. More communication is great if you know if we knew this change was coming we could i guess prepare for it in a way and people wouldn't be as salty it kind of just came out of nowhere with nothing else being fixed is what kind of set the community off but then we also have timing wise some changes can be developed rather quickly but hell for future hot fixes patches so they are felt to be as targeted if there was in a seasonal patch with a bunch of weapon ability changes it would still sting but general buffs could help the overall mood and that 100 is right like i was saying if it did come with other stuff or they fix other things that are happening with the game it would definitely help the overall move but it's still at sting if you play borderlands 3 you know this exact feeling where they would just randomly nerf something you know more so at the beginning of the game they kind of fix that problem later in the game but at the beginning of the game they would just nerf something without literally doing anything else or even wonderlands at the launch too it was it was a rough time back then but then it, when it comes to specific change there was a rush on the part of the dev side it just happened to be a sign this hot fix got the appropriate test pass and went out the door and we'll be talking to the team about timing for changes like this moving forward as well okay so again good more communication with, with us and the team obviously really good this is just something they could get out quick that they were going to do anyway so might as well go on and push it out then finally ending this string of tweets will repeat myself in saying thank you to many players who have been reaching out with the constructive feedback and illustrating their gut reactions in respective ways it helps a ton bringing your voices to the development table so yeah definitely that last part if you're going to criticize them please at least doing it in a constructive and respective way having people go on and just scream at the bungee devs it's just insane i mean as a content creator obviously i see it happening to other people i mean it even happens to me people come on and yell at me because i say something it's it's honestly ridiculous that is not a single way to give feedback across to anybody yes you can be salty about a change but at the end of the day everybody is still a human and nobody is ever going to be perfect so just keep that in mind if you are going to try to give feedback obviously i would say 90 percent of the community does agree that it is a bad nerf including myself and i wish it would get referred it back but that does not mean we need to go out and tell a bunch of devs that they're bad at their job because if they were you wouldn't still be playing this game for seven years but anyway that's my take on everything again i would like to see it change or at least get other stuff fixed at least we do now know that there's going to be more communication back and forth and we know things like this that are hot topics come up but yeah like i said that's going to draw for me i really hope you all enjoyed if you did remember drop a like it really really helps the channel out i truly appreciate all the support on these videos i know they are not the norm but they are really fun to make and i just enjoy chatting with you all also if you did make it this far in the video and you don't know i actually do have a discord so if you want to come hang out there there will be a link to that in the description hopefully once we get enough people in there we can have a you know semi lfg system in there where you don't have to play with extremely toxic people 24 7 that's kind of the goal honestly so again if you would like to join that you know that is also there but anyway thank you all so much for watching and have a great day peace